Hey everybody, this is Robert with Mole3D. Today we're going to be going over replacing your build plate tape on uh, MakerBot or any other FDM uh, printer. Um, a couple tools uh, that I use is uh, obviously the um, uh, the build plate tape and uh, I use this kind of uh, paint scraper. Um, this one I have, I've had it for a long ass time and uh, it's really thin on the end. I really like it. Um, and it's uh, it's kind of flexible too. I use it for doing the tape and I also use it for removing prints. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the tape and um, I think we're gonna go in fast forward mode here real fast. So <clears throat> go ahead and remove the tape and uh, let's just peel this thing right off. So you can see after you're peeling off the tape, sometimes you leave a little bit of residue behind. Um, we wanna remove that. So I usually use a um, you know, one of those uh, lens wipes, uh, glass cleaners, uh, laptop cleaner kind of thing. And um, I just go ahead and clean everything off and um, get our tape, or get our bill plate ready for a new tape. So after doing this a few times, uh, I learned that the tape is kind of a pain in the ass to handle. And the easiest way that I found so far is to sort of lay down one edge and then uh, and then lay down the rest of it and I found it hard to do if you take the whole tape um, all the way off of the backing so uh, first thing we do is take the tape off the backing and then it's gonna roll up on you so try to catch it before it sort of starts to stick and then we're gonna put it back on the backing but leave a little edge for us to work with this makes it so we don't have to keep touching the tape and now we can lay down an edge on the top um, on the back and normally I would do it um, the other way around because the front edge is usually the most important so I'd flip it around and do it that way but lay down your first edge and uh, make sure you're happy with it nice and straight um, th that one is pretty straight and I think I redo it real quick and then um, once uh, once you're happy go ahead and just scrape it down and then we're gonna peel back the tape a little bit more and um, try to pull a little bit as you um, as you uh, use your spatula to sort of uh, push the tape down and we're basically just doing this to make sure we don't have any bumps or air air pockets so I now take off all the tape and I'm pulling really hard on the other side and uh, you can see it sticks a little bit but go ahead and just pull it down and and then use your scraper to push all the air bubbles out and um, it works pretty great and you get pretty much a flawless um, a flawless uh, build uh, area if you're still using the tape and uh, yeah if you have any comments or suggestions uh, you know throw them in the comment box below and we're always open to hearing other people's tips and tricks about this stuff but um, I found that you know uh, this method works pretty great don't have a lot of air pockets and uh, it's it's a uh, damn near perfect so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video and um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to our website, mole3d.com and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at mole3d. We'll see you next time.